Almighty Father, we thank you for bringing us together. You have begun to do your good thing over our lives. You will continue to the end. Thank you, Lord Divine. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We can be seated. The blessings of gathering together before God. The blessings of gathering together before God. So, God wants us to gather before him. He loves our gathering before him. He is our creator who created us for his pleasure. As we see in Revelation chapter 4 verse 11. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. Kaine may Isa, the Karbido Kaka, the Daraja, the Eko. Ya ubangijin mu da Allah mu kama kai ka halice dukkan abu saboda nufinka kuma suka kasance saboda nufinka aka halice su God created everything for his pleasure ubangiji ya halice dukkan komai domin jin dadin sa and that includes human beings wannan ya hada da mutane and he loves to see us gather together before him. So he often invites people to come together before him. He is our savior who saw, who's, uh, who saved us from for uh, for his own purpose shine mai ceton mu wanda ya cece mu domin dalilin kansa he saved us for himself ya cece mu don kansa we are saved from our sins we are no more under satan he wants to see the people he saved often as they gather before him Ya cece mu daga zunuban mu ya kuma kwato mu daga hannun shedan sansani kulla yomi ya ga mun taru a gaban sa is like a mother when you give birth to children you love to have them what a joy when those children gather before you kamar uwa ce wacce ta haifi ya bayan haihuwar ya'yan nan tana da kaunan ta gan wa'annan ya'ya sun kewaye ta what a joy to a father that his children assemble before him. That's how joyful God is to have us assemble before him. Yes, also the leader of the church is happy. When he comes and the members of the church assemble before him. He is the founder of holiness revival movement worldwide. Naruhaniya, let's ariki a dick fat and dunia. 
And he is so joyful to see these people he has cleansed, yeah. he has washed, he has sanctified, gathered together before him. Yana kuma chike da murna ya yende ya ganja ma'arsa da ya wanke su ya kuma goka su ya kuma tsarka kasu sun taru a gaban sa. Let's sing these two songs showing this thing. We have been singing it and let's see how it is like that before God. Baram rera wa ennan wakoki guda biyu wanda za ta nuna nunin hakanan a gaban ubangiji we are gathering together unto the unto the lord sit down sit down unto jesus to the lord shall the gathering of his people be we are gathering together God up to the Lord. It is to the Lord. To God to God to Jesus. We are gathering together unto the unto the Lord. Unto the We are together again. We are together again. Just praising the Lord. We are together again. In one accord. Something good has already happened. Something better is in store. We are together again. Just praising the Lord. We are together again. Just praising the Lord. We are together again. In one accord. Something good. Has already happened. Something better is, is in store. We are together again. Just praising the Lord. Just praising. Hallelujah. Amen. This is what God loves. Abinda Allah ke kauna kenan. We are together in his praises, praising him, worshiping him, giving testimony of his goodness. He will be smiling and say, "Yes, my children, I love seeing you." Mun taru duka gabar sa, muna rerawa, muna yi masa sujada. The Murmushi, the Faraa, Muche, E, she and Achiwa, E, Yanakin. He likes it so much. Yena Santa so say in the book of Job, chapter one. Litafin Ayuba Sura, there. Job, chapter one, I read verse six. Ayuba Sura, there, Ayashida. The Bible tells us about the gathering of his children. Now, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan came also among them. So you can see, God, the children of God came to gather around God. 
Lama ganche wa ya yan ubangiji sun zo domin su kewaye kewaye da shi. Satan knows about this that God loves the gathering of his children. Shedan ya san da cewa ubangiji na kaunar taruwar ayyan sa. Definitely this was not inside heaven. Haka kagika wannan cikin sammai else Satan would have not been able to go there for his um, impurity. Be iya zuwa domin yin hadrasar sa ba. The children of God gathered around him and he likes it. Gathering in his presence to present themselves to him. In many Christmas uh, period, the children of a man will all come from various places to the house to present their, the, the, themselves to the father and to the mother. Lokacin Christmati ya yan mutun da suke nesa da shi sukan tattaru a lokacin su dawo gida domin mika kaunan su ga ubansu da kuma mahaifiyar su. At this time everybody brings his gift whatever he has bought for the father whatever he has bought for the mother and whatever he has provided for others and come with testimonies to share of how he lives his life, how it is with him, where he is. I want to look at you, Neko, when you're checking out and computer, the NASA, Kyotai, Kyotai, the ACR, Domin Ubansa, Kyotai, the ACR, Domin Mai, Fiersa, Kyotai, the ACR, Domin Sora Mutani, Sukuma Bade, Shedu, Irin Rayua, the Sekai, a chicken one nation. And so the father also will be blessing them. As you are going back, let it be well with you. As you are going back, prosper. As you are going back, the God who has been with me, will do you good, protect your life, the father also, and the mother, will be blessing the children as they go by. I want to look at the woman who is a son of Al-Barku, and I want to look at Allah and the Lord, 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 and the Lord. As they gather around him, he is checking each one of them, he is listening to each one of them as they come to him to explain their needs or to talk to the mother and he will be solving them. He will be counseling them. He will be showing them, solving problems between them in case one has problem with his brother, with his sister. He will be, the, pet, the father will be solving the problem. I want to look at you now. I want to look at you now. I want to look at Yana biya buka tansu sanna yana basu shawara wale hamgami da mahaifi arsu. It's not only man on earth that does that. That is an instinct he received from God. God loves people to come to him, to gather before him. Ba mutumi ndunia kate ike ying ilin hakaba ya iko ine do ubengiji. Do minson ubengiji ne kula yomi Again in Job chapter 2, we read Job chapter 2, verse 1. Job chapter 2, verse 1. Are you, are you, are you, are you, are you, are you? Again there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them to present himself before the law. Watarana kuma ya yang Allah suka saike zua do min subayyan subayyana wurin ubangiji magab chi kuma ya shiga chikin su do min shibayyana shibayyana wurin ubangiji. Can you see how Satan himself has to go and lay claim on God and say you are my creator although I spoil I have a spoiled person but I have to still come and present myself to you as other of my Fellow creatures are coming in. I also have to come. Kana haka shiye shiye dang ya shiga chiki mutani domi ya baya na kansa agaban ubengiji. Yana chewa ubengiji kode shiki ni patechen la la techen dani ama duda haka nazu domi imbaya na kaina agareka. So physically as the children of a man are all coming home. 
the evil one will not come. It's also coming home. Hakanan, ya ende ya ya mutu sukanzo. Wa ende su zaman la la tatu koko maguru bata tu achikin su suma sana zo da misu meka kansuga. And as the as the father is relating to the other ones, he said, "You, I've been hearing the thing of you. I've been hearing the life you. I told you to stop it." Kama yenda ubanze sorari soran ya basu shawari haka ze tuju yoga kangarere ya che kai ina jen labari nka ina jen irin halaya nka na adede ina gaya maka kadena kakuma chanza. That's how God asked that. Where are you coming from? He said I'm coming from moving up and down. When I saw that you were gathered, people were coming to you. Your children were coming so I came too. But I'm from moving up and down. Haka se Allah ya tembeshe dan kai daga ina kake yace ina zuwa ne daga yawo a fuskan duniya na ga ya'yan ka na taruwa yasa nima na ce bari in zo domin nima in taru a gabanka then as we are moving up and down the two consider come to the house of my servant job did you consider him yayin da yake kai da kawar sa ne ubangije yace masa ko ka gan bawa na ayuba ko ka sa hankali a gare shi Conversation continued and ended up with the book of Job. Not only the devil, the children of God is communicating with them too. As you are coming, come with your children. As Joseph went before Jacob with his own children, Jesus said, so far not the children, I mean, so far the children to come to me. Don't block them. Yeah, Allow I, them. Yeah. Because they are part of the kingdom. My kingdom is for them. I, they need to come to my presence. Don't mind that they are running up and down, making noise, crying, ah, before God, before God. Allow them. God wants it so. Let them come. Ya endo kuche zua gaban ubenki jikana kuzode a enku. Kama yadda Yusufu ya kwashi ayan sa ya kai gaban uban sa Yakub hana ubangiji yana ce kada ku hana kankana su zo gare ni kada ku damu da duk wasa da kuka da daukan hankalin da za su yi ubangiji na kaunar haka nan In the book of Psalm 50 verse 5 Litafin Zabura sura 50 Psalm 50 we read verse Five. Zabura Hamsin Ayabiar. Gather my sins together unto me. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Yache kutatoro mani arkakana su wadanda sikaiwa adidani bisa hadaya. Can you see what the Lord is saying? Gather my sins. Those I have saved by the blood, by my own blood. Ko kunji abin da ubangiji yake cewa ya ce ku tattaro mini tsarkakana wanda na cece su da jinina. Those I have saved with my own blood. Wanda na cece su da nawa jini. I want to see them. In aso in gansu. So that is why Gathering like this is a beautiful thing before God. She is a tatarwa kamarhaka kekewan abune agaban ubangiji. It is the will of God. Nufin Allah ni. He likes it. Yena akuma sang hakanan. In fact, he commanded it. Hakika yado kachi hakanan. In Deuteronomy chapter 16. Akuba wa sheria sura shash yar verse 6 aya shidda Deuteronomy chapter 16 verse 6 Akuba wa sheria shash shidda aya shidda because the Lord wants his own children to assemble before him Ubangiji yana kaunar ayyan sa su taru a gaban sa why that is his joy Dumme murnar sa kenan that is what he wants you to do my brother aban da yake so kai kenan dan uwana yes e 
Now, let's read Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 6. But at the place which the Lord thy God shall choose to place his name in, there thou shalt sacrifice the Passover at even, at the going down of the sun, at the season that thou comest forth out of Egypt. Saide a urin da ubengi jing alanka zaya zaba domi shisa sunansa ya zamna achiki chang za kaiha dair faska da yamma wajen hafad warana ya lo kachin da kafitu da gamasar. Verse 16. Sha shida. Three times in a year. Shall all thy meals appear before the Lord thy God in the place which he shall choose, in the feast of unleavened bread, and in the feast of wheat, and in the feast of tabernacles, and they shall not appear before the Lord empty. A chicken shekara so uku, deka maza jenka za subayena agaban obengijin alanka, a chicken uri desire zava. Wato chicken idi na gurasa mara east, the chicken idi na bakwai bakwai, the chicken idi na bukoki, baza subayena agaban obangiji hanu o fiba. Every man shall give as he is able, according to the blessing of the Lord thy God, which he had given thee. Ko wane mutum zaya bayas kwal kwada iya watasa. Gwalgodon albarkar ubengijin alanka wada yabaka. Can you talk, see what the Lord said? The whole nation of Israel should gather before him three times in a year. Kunji abunda ubengiji yache adik kasai kasar masar tataruso uku agabasa ashikara. It's rigorous because they should all go to Jerusalem. Three times in a year. Ya kasanche de aiki so se dome ya che dekkan so so kasanche a urshalima so uku a sheik ara. It was this coming, one of them that Hannah came to the temple because Elkanah came with his wives for the program. And Hannah came to the temple after everybody, after the service that day and worshipped and plead with God and say, give me a man child. I don't look at Chini Elkana Yate Fi de Ialansa and Natu Tamo Rizarefi, Taiwa Ubankijis Jada, Tai Adua Taroko, Teche Kabani La Namiji. So you can see it is an instruction that God gave. Now, how do you look at people who were meals among the children of Israel that refused purposely from? To come to gather among others before the Lord. Zaku ye gani che wa do kani ubangiji ya bayer taya ya muna ye gani mazaji what resukairation biaya sinki wan nanta rua. Will God be happy with such person? Allah zay jidari ngirin wa en nam mutanen. Will God be aware that a person did not come out who was supposed to come out? Ubankiji yana iya ya sanche wa akwande kamata fitode be fitoba. He that studies the heart of everybody knows those who are negligent to see to his commandment. Wende shi yeke bimbini zuchi ya riko wane mutum ya sanduk wa enda suke wa asido kukdoko kinsa. He knows who is truly sick that cannot come up before him. Idam matum nation life ya yeke na kware wanda baze iye zuwa gaban saba. He knows who is truly, truly fixed up, engaged, that he cannot come up to his presence. Ya sande gaske kware aini wanda ayuka sin chika hanu warsa da baze iye samun zare fi zuwa gaban saba. He knows those that are lazy and are careless towards him. And do not bother to come to his presence. Ya samwa enda sinchika de kiwi ya. Wa enda kona kula domen enzo gabarsa. This God that has the key of life and of death. He doesn't know people to open this door for. 
ya wannan Allah da yake rike da makullin rai da ta mutuwa ba zai iya sanin irin mutanen nan ba he doesn't know the people to lock this door again be san yadda zai kulle wannan kofan ba kuma he doesn't know the people to serve who are crying for his help by some mutanen zai zai cece su wanda suke kukan neman taimakon su ba he doesn't know the people he will reject their plea even when they are in trouble because they don't bother be san irin mutanen da zai ki kukan su da godon su domin sun nuna halin rashin kula it is the will of god that we should have various times in the church to gather his people together nafin allah ne mu samu lokuta daban daban da zamu tara mutane jama'a a gabarsa coming together in fellowship zuwa tare cikin zumunci come the whole state coming together in a conference taruwa kamar haka a babban taro kamar haka the some groups of states coming together in a kind of a zuna conference wato jihohi suna taruwa irin taruwa kamar haka yankuna coming together in a national conference wato zuwa tare na taro na duk baki daya coming together in international conference zuwa tare na ta babban taro na duk duniya baki daya i told you it is the will of god na ga ya mana nufin allah ne why then should you not come me yesa ba za ku zo ba what happened me faru why are you not coming me yesa ba za ku zo ba is it the christianity that god gave that god has provided that you're following irin kristancin da allah ya tanada shi kake bi why are you not following the rules of christianity me yesa ba ka bin dokokin kristanci why are you not considering the gathering of the people together me yesa ba ka mai da hankali kan taruwar ayyan ubangiji tare ba are we coming here to gather together for a ma mun zo nan domin taruwa don mutum ne no unto the lord shall the gathering of his people be a a zuwa ga ubangiji kade taruwar jama'ar sa za ta kasance why then should god see you at home relaxed sleeping doing casual thing we people are in his presence and you're supposed to be there me yesa za ka gaccance a gida kana barci kana aikin da ba shine ba bayan ayyan sa jama'ar sa sun taro a gaban sa surely he is not happy with you tabbatacce ba ya jin dadin ka is the disobedience to his commandment reshin biyaya ne ga dokokin sa that people are supposed to be in the center he has chosen to meet to come to his presence and you are absent cewa mutane sun taro a inda ya zaben musu ya kamata kana tare da su amma ba kanan tare da su and the report of the angels over you show that you are just idle you is not that you are doing anything you didn't but in fact if it's not even that you don't have transport you have the transport or if you had main business you would have gotten transport but lord we saw him we saw her just idle ga yadda rahoton ka zai kasance a hannun malaiku za su ba da rahoton cewa ba rashin kudin mota ne yasa baka zo taron ba kana nan ne kawai domin yin aikin banza if she wanted we would have touched uh, the, the 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 boss in the office to give her permission to give him permission but they are not interested ya koda sun roki shugaba a ofishin da suke aiki domin samun dama da za su samu daman zuwa amma sun ki su roki wannan dama and the angels the 24 elders sang thou art worthy o lord for thou has created all things and for the thy pleasure they are and were created god created you for his pleasure he wants you to appear where he can take pleasure on you you are not cooperating malaiku da kuma dattawa 24 a samai suna waka ya allah ka isa daukaka 
ka halle ceju kan halle tu domin kanka suna nan suna wa ubangiji sujada kai kuma baka nan a wurin he comes to the assembly of his people to bless them yana zuwa taruwar jama'ar sa domin ya albarkace su the things when you come together in group in company and in the camp for worship he is there also yayin da jama'a suka taru a tari tari a duk babban taro ya kan zo nan gurin ma domin ya albarkace su in fact it is to him you are gathered a gare shi kuka taru in deuteronomy chapter 23 ko ba wa shari'a aya sura 23 verse 14 aya 14 For the Lord thy God walketh in the midst of thy camp to deliver thee and to give up thine enemies before thee therefore shall thy camp be holy that he see no unclean thing in thee and turn away from thee Gama ubangijin Allah ka yana yawo a dakiyar sansanin ka gare ya cece ka ya bayar da abokan gaban ka a gaban ka domin wannan sansan shin sa za ya kasance da tsarki kada ya gan wani abin kazamta a wurin ka shi juya kuma gabarin ka when we gather like this the lord comes among us what is he coming is watching us he is coming to give us salvation to give us deliverance yayin da muka taro kamar haka ubangiji ya kan zo a sakanin mu me yake kawo shi yana zuwa ne domin ya ba mu ceto ya kuma ba mu yantaswa the enemies will also come we notice that satan came and the lord will come to deliver up our enemies that's to say to weaken them to overcome them to defeat them to throw them off so that we can be delivered he comes to walk against our enemy magabtan mu ma sukan zo kamar yadda muka gan shedan ya zo cikin taruwan yayin Allah sukan zo ne domin su rage karfin mu sukan zo ne domin su raunanar da mu amma ubangiji yakan yantas da mu daga hannun su the blessings you receive when two people when more people are gathered before the lord because the presence is great his power is great when all of us come together za mu gan cewa idan mutum biyu ko tarin jama'a suka taru akwai albarku za mu gan da cewa ikon sa yakan kasance da karfi bayanuwar sa kan kasance da karfi a wannan taro if you have a vehicle a car it is parked in your house either one or two is parked in your house but when we all come together all car owners drive to one central place because we are meeting you see fleets of cars kai yu kana da mota ko kuma motoci biyu da ka ajiye a gidanka amma idan muka taro jama'ar ubangije kamar haka idan muna da motoci zaka gan jerin motoci ne an jera the grace you have for your house the power of god you are exhibiting as small as it is it is in your house but when we come together we bring this power and just come together too this power come together too it becomes mighty power in a meeting place al hearing allah da kake da shi a gidanka ne ikon sa da kake da shi na gidanka ne amma yayin da muka taru haka za mu tattara wannan al hirai da iko ki za mu gan da cewa mun samu babban iko malaiku ma na tare tare da mu then a hundred of you shall put 10000 to fly darkan ku za ku sanya dubai guduwa because the presence of god is great among you to achieve great things among us domin bayanuwar ubangiji tana da girma a sakanin ku domin ku sami babban abu can you see the advantage of coming to a meeting matters you cannot solve at home didn't hana know how to pray why couldn't she pray through at home until she came to the temple matters you cannot handle at home when you come to where great presence of god is you can break through with such a matter 
mun gan amfanin zo mu tare kamar haka domin yin adoyi da sujada shi yasa annabi ta bar gida ta je jami'a domin yin adua yayin da muka taru kamar haka albarku da iko ta kasance da karfi ainu so that's why it is good to come together shi yasa yana da kyau mu tattaru tare yes don't neglect the coming of ourselves together in a meeting e kada kake tattaruwar mu a taro kamar haka in hebrews chapter 10 verse 25 ibraniyawa sura 10 aya 25 hebrews chapter 10 i read verse 25 ibraniyawa sura 10 aya 25 the bible tells us here saying not, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is but exalting one another and so much the more as ye see the day approaching aya 25 tana cewa ta ce bari kuma mu lura da juna domin mu tsokane juna zuwa ga kamna da na gargarun ayyuka verse 25 kada mu fasa tattaruwar mu kamar yadda wadansu sun saba yi amma mu galgadar da juna balle fa yanzu da kuna ganin ranan nan tana gusowa for example the conference that is coming up in abuja fasting and prayer is going on has been going on will be going on accumulating power accumulating angels i bring in the presence of god great we are praying for it is for you so that when you come there the thing that has been difficult for you the problem that has been difficult for you satanic forces that have been strong against you when you come there they are dissolved automatically kama ayanzu babban taron da take zuwa abuja can anjuma ana nan ana azmi kuma da adoyi azmi da adoyi suna tafiya ba domin komai bane a daddana iko kin magabta saboda duk abin da ya zama da wahala da zafi a gare ku ubangije zai sassauta muku su don say if god wants to bless me he can he let him meet me in my house there are things for your house there are things for the congregation kar ka ce idan ubangije zai albarkace ni ko a gidana ma yana iya yin haka a a akwai abin da ubangije na iya yin maka a gidanka akwai kuma abin da zai yi maka a tsakanin taron jama'a yes there are family doctors that can come to your house and treat some things but some other matters he said man we will admit you in the hospital go to the hospital we shall admit you there likita na iyali akwai wasu damuwoyi inda ya kan zo cikin gida domin ya maganta su amma akwai wasu damuwoyi da ta kan sha karfi da dole sai ka je asibiti domin a kwantar da kai in hospital there are great equipment which cannot be in your house which cannot be brought to your house there are equipment there are experts there are a team of workers they will not come to your house and your case needs the attention of the hospital attention of a team move to the hospital asibiti akwai na urori akwai kuma kwararru da suka san aiki wanda ba su a gidanka ba dole ne wannan damuwar ta bukaci ka bar gidanka zuwa asibiti domin a mori wannan na'urori su kwararru kuma su lura da kai do not neglect the assembling of yourselves together kada ka banzartar da taruwar da taruwar ku tare those who didn't come for this this uh, zonal uh, workers and ministers conference and have been passing through struggles with the devil they have been praying they have been fasting they didn't know a higher power was what going to work here and that devil recognized the ranks of the people you hear me devil knows your rank he knows my rank he knows that when you speak he knows how to handle you but when this other one speaks he say ah this is the one of god pata pata so please we hear he said jesus i know who again who again i say who again paul i know 
kamar taro da muke ciki yanzu na shugabane na yanki wa'anda ba su samu zuwa ba sun yi adu'o'i sun kuma yi azumi amma wata iko da ta sha karfin iko nasu ya hana su zuwa shi yasa shedan ya san matsayin kowannen mu ba mamaki shi yasa yesu ya ce yesu na sani bulus na sani wane ne kai a story was told of a man um, from, uh, of a ministry they were casting out the devil the devil was too strong were casting it what the devil was too strong so they told the general overseer of that ministry so when he came there the devil said ah the, the leader has come i will go i will go <laughs> i will go an ba da labarin wani mutum ne da suke kokarin fid da ma wani aljanu suna cikin haka abun ya gagara sai suka kira shugaban su baki daya da wannan aljanun ya ga shugaban ya zo sai ce a shugaban su ya zo bara zan tafi zan tafi but you feel proud as if we are the same in the knowledge of god as if we are the same in the power of god as if we are the same in anointing of god you are failing and there are problems in your life with all your prayers you will not achieve them go the smaller matters ye shall judge the bigger matters ye shall take to moses wato wasu da dama muka daka ka fada kamar sanin mu daya ne cikin ubangiji shafewan mu daya ne cikin ubangiji a a rai kan daka ga irin damuwa akwai kankantar damuwa akwai babban damuwa da ke bukata yadda za a adda nasu therefore humble yourself and learn to go and submit yourself on the higher power on the higher anointing the yoke shall be broken shall be destroyed by anointing don haka ku koyi kaskanci ku je ku mika kawunar ku ga iko da kuma shafewa da ka fi naku anan ne karkiyar za a karkarya ta that's what god wants you to understand abinda ubangije yake so ku gane kenan yes then be happy in to go for gathering when they say the children of god are going to gather oh pastor is coming the international director is coming oh we are going to abuja oh, we are going to the state headquarters we are going for the that should give you joy because some matters you can handle can now be handled peacefully you will receive transfer of anointing you will receive wisdom higher power shall be working there e abinda ubangiji ke so kenan yayin da akwai taruwa kamar haka ko a abuja yadda pastoci da manya za su taru kasance da murna da farin ciki domin zuwa a wurin anan ne ana iya samu mu sanyan shafewa domin ubangiji ya kawo mu matsayin da ya kamata mu kasance da shi in the book of psalm 122 verse 1 Zabura sura 122 aya 1 Psalm 122 verse 1 Zabura 122 aya 1 I was glad when they said unto me let us go into the house of the Lord Nai murna sa'anda aka ce mini bari mu je gidan ubangiji Our feet shall stand within thy gate O Jerusalem kafafunmu suna tsayawa a cikin kofofinki ya urshalima yes the seven peace be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces bakwai ta ce bari salama ta kasance daga cikin ganuwoyinki albarka kuma a cikin fadarki this eight for my brethren and companions sex I will now say peace be within thee Sabili da yan uwa da sahibaina zan ce yanzu salama ta zamna a cikin ki Because of the house of the Lord our God I will seek thy good Sabili da gidan ubangijin Allahmu ina ina nufin ki da alheri In fact the Lord has assured us he is going to make the come holiness come ground for live very beautiful like ske ubangiji ya tabbatar mana da cewa zai kawata wannan fili na tsarki ta yi kyau 
and I am seeing the beauty is really coming gradually, gradually, gradually. Nagaske kya unta tana apitoa ahankali, ahankali, ahankali. If you go back, when you come in December and you look at the camera, they say, eh? When did this one happen? When did it come again? Hi, this place. Ya enda kuka barawa na uri ayo kuka dawa chiki watangu be za kufara mamaiki yoshe wana ya faru yoshe akaya haka. It is the promise of God. Al kawalen Allah ne. And it is the glory of God. Da ukakarsa ne kuma. The presence of God is great in the campground. Yes, the demons that follow some people when they come to the gate of the camp, they say, No, they will not enter here. Oh, can they? They were in Sekuka Shugo, Yahenda Sazo, Kofar, Zasuche, E, but I'm going on with because looking inside the camp, what they're seeing is different. Domain do by chicken tara, Aban the Sekagani, the Bamine, the power of God. Ikon Allah. When you see the ocean roaring, will you jump inside? You'll be afraid. You don't go to Gamba Bante Kude take a ruri. Zaku it and le kufada achiki. So what the evil spirit see they come is something different. Abuda kazantacha ruhu tiki geni achikin taronda bemni. No, I will not go in. Ah, abazamu shigaba. Because the presence of God is great. Domin ba ya narwa ubengi jeta na degirma. I'm telling, this is physical. Ina agaya moku abengi geni de idu. Many people when they enter that camp, they enjoy a kind of peace they cannot explain. Dewa mata ni ayat nasi kesihawan nawi sekemori sukumajin dari beban selamar dari bazar se iya bayi na waba. There's one person in the camp that he was owing some other people. Aku yang mana macam acikin wan nawi taro one day ke likema dah was subash. Because he collected contract and employed them to work the contract, but when he finished. The, the owner of the of the project did not pay him. Domi ya kari iwata kwangila ni domi yi. Baya ya gama wana kwangila my aiking bebiya shi kwenye nsaba. Then he could not also pay these ones. Abende yesa kene shima be iye biya ngwa ende kere kia msida ba shiba. For quite some years. Ashe karu da dama. Did they heard that he was in holiness come. Se akajila abari nyazo wajanta runs aliki. Two of them now decided we would deal with him. They plan to come and embarrass him. They plan he must pay our money today. That was the plan when they were still in their place. That was the plan when they were still on the road. That was the plan before they arrived at the gate of the camp. But when they came to the camp like this, and entered the gate, they said, this place you can't do, this thing we say we can't do it here. No, the atmosphere changed. The atmosphere changed. They came and confessed. The plan we had spoiled at the gate of this yoker. Give a clap of friend to Jesus. Yeah. I was glad. When they say Let's go to the house of the Lord. Because much has been invested into that house. But why have you not been there? Where are you not coming joyfully to the camp? Where you are you not coming to the conference with joy and celebration? Come with joy. Come with gladness. It Joseph, I mean Jacob called it, this is the gate of heaven. All the cloth of the prodigal son will be removed 
duka tufa na batrechen aza atutu besu agoreu and a new cloth shall be put on them sananza asanya musu sabo ben tufa come to the come with a willing mind zo unta ro de ya dajjer zuciya come to the come with a ready mind zo gunta ro de shirye yer zuciya the lord shall clothe you with new cloth o benge je ze tufa ta ko da sabo ben tufa be happy asanche de murna publicize god's gathering zo kunta ron uban kichi tell people about it gaya wa jama'a domin sa when ever there is a meeting anywhere god will be there duk inda akwai irin taro kamar haka allah zai kasance a gurin a meeting in your zone wata mace a meeting in your state wato taro a jihar ka a meeting in your region taro a yankin ka a meeting that people are, are going to gather before the lord taro da jama'a mutane za su taro a gaban ubangiji oh in national international meeting ya yu na kasa baki daya ko na jihohi publicize ka tallatar da shi because the lord has decided to use his people domin ubangiji ya yi zabi domin ya mori jama'ar sa in the book of isaiah chapter 2 Litafin Ishaya sura 2 Isaiah chapter 2 Ishaya sura 2 I read from verse 1 Daga aya ya The Bible tells us here The word that Isaiah the son of Amos saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem and it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow in unto it magana wadda ishaya nan amus ya gane akan yahuda da urshalima za ya zama a cikin kwanake na karshe dutse na gidan ubangiji za ya kahu a kwakwalen duwasu ya dauka ka bisa kan tuddai al'umman duka kuma za su zubo gurin sa do you know how many nations are coming i will be coming in this december conference kun san kasashe guda nawa ne za su zo wannan conference na december do you know that the lord raised up this holiness movement for that purpose ko kun san cewa allah ya tada wannan tafiya na tsarki domin wannan dalilin ne that it is a mountain of the lord that is established in the top of the mountains kuma cewa tuddune na ubangiji wanda aka kafa ta akan tuddai and that the lord has exalted the holiness movement cewa ubangiji ya dauka ka wannan taro na tsarka and that all nations shall flow to it dukkan kasashe za su tururu zuwa gare ta how should people be coming from other nations and you're not coming me yasa mutane za su zo daga sauran kasashe amman kai ba za ka zo ba how should it be you very closely that will not come me yasa kai ne da kake kurkusa da gurin ba za ka zo ba and you already telling your mind that you will not come ka riga ka fara ga amma abu kai ba za ka zo ba you already calling for satan to come and help you and bring some reason so that you will not come kana kokarin giya wa shedan ya taimake ka kawo inda zai sa ba za ka je ba you know the scientists have told us something yan kimiya sun ga mana wani abu this stomach ache and this headache that some people are having wannan ciwo da wasu mutane suke da shi is sometimes it's not the original one ba na ainihi ba na kwarai bane it is the the owner of that body that invited those things, those people to come those if is sicknesses ainihi mai jikin ne yakan gayyaci wayannan mugogin ruhohin su shigo there is something to do akwai wani abin yi there is a place you you are supposed to go akwai wurin da ya kamata ka je but you are not interested to go amma ba ka so ka je ba you're not interested to do it but what will you say to those people for the reason why you are you are not you are not doing it if they ask you why didn't you come 
What will you say is the reason why you didn't come? Idan suka tambaye ka me yasa ba ka zo ba? Menene hujjan da zaka ba su saiwan ba ka zo ba? As that thought is going on within your body, within your mind. Yayin da wannan tunani na gogor maya a cikin zuciyarka. Then suggestions will be automatically coming. Wato dole ne zabi za ta shigo. Your body begins to communicate to each other. Jikin ka za su fara sadarwa da junan su. Now my the owner of this body doesn't want to go for that program. Wannan me jikin na mamallakin jikin nan baya so ya je ko ina. What do we do to give him reason so that when people call over there, why didn't you come? He should be able to have a reason to give. To kuna gan me ya kamata mu yi ya zama masa dalilin da koda an tambaye shi ya ce ga hujjan abin da ya sa ban iya zuwa ba. Are you there? Can you come and give our master reason? Start operating. Start operating now. Hey, my head. My my head. head. My head. No, they're helping you because so that you should be able to give reason over there. That the reason why you couldn't come is that you have headache. Ci wankai na kokarin baka dalili ne domin ka samu hujjan fadan abin da ya sa baka iya zuwa can ba Sometimes it is stomach pain wasu lokuta ciwon ciki ne you are holding you and it's a reality you're not pretending you're holding your stomach eh za ka rike cikin ka ka matse haka nan a a ba wasa da gaske ne if the person is there you say oh sorry sorry don't worry eh sorry idan wani na wani zai danga ce maka sannu sannu kar ka damu ka ji sannu is your body helping you to have reason wato jikin ka ne yake taimakon ka ka samu dalili so if you notice that type of sickness say no i repent i will go now i it, will repent they will stop because they did, it's not original one it's improv, improv they are improvised it, they, they just came to assist you but since you're not ready to go headache is wanting to go now so move leave that place so you will become normal idan ka iya ganewa a lokacin ka kuma tuba nan da nan za su kyale ka domin kai ka jawo su sun zo ne su taimake ka baka dalilin da yasa ba za ka tafi ba amma in ka tuba za su rabu da kai nan da nan this is just sickness but it could be in another area a trouble will just start from somewhere else all on you so that you can have reason wannan ciwo kenan amma idan a wani wuri wata damuwa ne tana iya tasowa ta kuma fada a kanka domin ka samu dalili the god who knows the truth if he were near you when you are crying headed is can he will give you bah! you is because you lazy woman it she doesn't want to go that's why she's having headache and spite her then oh i will go now i will go headache will now go allah da ya sanka yayin da kake ba da wannan hujja zai iya dauka domin yayi maka zana yayin da zaka ci shi kuma jikin ka ya nuna maka nan da zaka yi wuka tuba ka ce gaskiya zan tafi i was glad when the same program has come we will be appearing before the lord i said thank you this devil will be destroyed out of my life nayi murna yayin da aka ce mini taro ya zo na cika da farin ciki domin na san zan je wannan taro inda za mu iya mu tattake ayu an shetan angels will come and clear everything out of your way any problem satan wants to bring angels and no this person is going somewhere in the next 15 days you cannot come nothing clear her road clear his way nothing will interfere with this meeting so tell god you will be there everybody say i will be there no sickness will come your way no problem will come your way your feet shall stand in the calm ground peace unto the calm ground malaika za ya zo ya shashare duk ababan da shaidan ya sanya a hanya domin ya toshe zuwar ka taro kwana 15 kamin lokacin malaika zai zo ya fitfitar da su saboda ka kasance da murna zuwa wannan taro dole ne kai furcin cewa zan tafi so can you see there are things god is getting ready to do for you things god will do when you come before his presence 
akwai abubuwan da ubangiji yana shirya yi domin ka abubuwan nan yana iya ayanar da su ne yayin da ka zo gaban sa watch it over your life now you will say yes he has done it idan ka duba rayuwar ka yanzu kana iya cewa i yayi su watch it over your life now you will say yes he has started it duba rayuwar ka yanzu kana iya ganin da cewa i ya riga ya so mai because when you come in the presence of god the lord is there domin idan ka zo gaban ubangiji allah yana nan a wurin seven things the lord will do for you aba ba bakwai da allah zai yi maka as to come before the lord yayin da ka zo gaban ubangiji he will restore good things in your life zai mayas da kyawawan ababa a rayuwar ka all the weaknesses you have felt all the failures you have made all the losses of your life the lord will work to restore back to your life duk kasala da ka kasance da shi kayaswa da ka kasance da shi barnan da ya faru a rayuwar ka ubangiji zai mayas a rayuwar ka in the book of some 23 a rivers 1 to verse 4 verse 3 zabura sura 23 aya 1 zuwa 3 the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside the still waters He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Ubangiji makiyayi na ne ba zan rasa komai ba. Yana sanya ne in kwanta a cikin makiyaya mai danya. Yana bishe ni a gefen ruwaye na hutawa. Yana warsakar da raina. Yana bishe ni a cikin hanyoyin adalci sabili you have lost relationship with god ka bad da dankantakar ka da allah now sins are in your life zanabi na a rayuwar ka you can't be in god anymore in fact you see god you see god as uh, darkly you see god as trees dark darkly kana ganin allah kaman itattuwa kana ganin sa aduhu but as you come to the presence of the lord and the lord puts you where green puts you in green pastures of his world the word is coming the word is coming your word is coming your eyes will be opening and then before you know it relationship between you and your god gets restored amma yayin da ka zo gaban ubangiji sai ya sanya ka a magudanar ruwaye na kalmar sa zai jawo ka ya kuma kyatta ka nan ne idanuwar ka za su bude the lord is my shepherd he restores my soul ubangiji maki yaye na ne yana mayas da raina many things have been lost in your life many gifts of god have been lost in your life but when you come as he invited the people gather my sins unto me all those people i died for them i sacrifice myself and got them to me when you come the lord will begin to work on you to restore in your life the gifts of god the grace of god the power of god so you get restored ababa da yawa sun bata a rayuwar ka bai bai na ubangiji a rayuwar ka sun bata amma yayin da gayyata kamar haka ta zo ka kuma samu kasancewa ubangiji yana mayar da wayannan kyatuttuka yana mayar da alherin sa duka a rayuwar ka your faith in god how to believe god for something believe god for your healing believe god to get this done believe you you, you are weak you don't even know how to believe god again you don't know how but come as it he calls you that come together gather together with your people don't neglect the assembly i will walk on your faith as i keep on bringing my word to you you are hearing one word you are hearing another testimony you are even seeing some practical things faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of god before you know it your faith has returned you can believe god now you can trust god again 
ban gaskiyar ka bisa ubangiji dole ka gaskanta ubangiji akan ababa da yawa gaskanta shi akan warkasuwa ka gaskanta shi yayin da ake taruwa kamar haka kazo za ka gan cewa abubuwan da ke faruwa zai falkar da ban gaskiyar ka za ka dawo da ban gaskiyar ka akan ubangiji kuma now your prayer life is lost because of what because of busy life because of what because of what satan has taken away your prayer life you need to pray sleep is taking you over you need to pray you don't even know what words to say you are confused you are not praying but the lord say go to the gathering of my people i commanded that there should be gathering of the people go there i'm going to work for you i'm going to work on you as you come into the meeting of god's people he begins to work on your life he begins to treat, to make some spark spiritual sparks in your life and he puts you away you see this brother the way he's praying jesus she is bouncing you look at that sister it's bouncing holy ghost are you seeing holy shake yourself you begin to shake yourself before you know it you are, you have joined up you are moving in gear five you say i've got my prayer life i've got my prayer life that is why the lord asks you come together don't neglect the assembling of yourselves together atakaice rayuwar aduwar ka ta bace shetan ya saci rayuwar addu'ar ka ya sa dole yayin da zaka yi addu'a sai barci ya dauke ka amma idan ka kasance a taruwa kamar haka ka gan dan uwa na addu'a zaka gan cewa addu'ar sa zai falkar da naka addu'a nan ne zaka fara cewa rayuwar addu'ar ka ya tashi shi yasa ubangiji yana cewa yayin da ake taruwa kamar haka kada ka ki zuwa wannan taro somebody a rich man was asked now come sir if you lose all this thing you have gathered some maybe destruction comes and clears them away can you ever regain this thing he laughed and say i will regain them an tambe wani ataziri an ce wannan mallakan da ka tattara idan wata anoba ta zo ta shafe su zaka iya ka maidar da su sai ya ci dariya ya yi murmushe ce i zan iya maidar da su how if all these things are destroyed you say you will regain them how he said i didn't get them by myself my god gave them to me if my life is right with my god they will come back yayi murmushi ya ce ya ce musu i ina iya maidar da su ba karfi na bane ya bane wa'annan wadata ba Allah ne ya bane su ko da an dauke su duka idan rayuwa na ya daidaitu da ubangiji zai kuma mais mune da su kuma the lord is my shepherd he restored my soul ubangiji makiyayi na ne yana mayyadan anan kuma all the losses you have made in your business the losses you have made here and even in the academics in the school whatever you have lost there the lord said move don't neglect the assemblings of yourselves together come together my presence shall be great i will restore your life and when i restore your life that is the foundation of general restoration you will see those things revive back because you will believe God for them to come back because the Lord will send angels of favor to go together with you so that's why neglect not the assembling of yourselves together it is the place for progress the place for success the place of restoration atakaice duk asaran da kai a cikin kasuwancin ka duk abin da ya taba batawa a rayuwar ka yayin da ayyukan ubangiji na taruwa kamar haka ka kasance a sakanin su ubangiji yana iya aika da mala'ika na tagomashi mala'ika na mayaswa duk wa'annan ababan da ka rasa su ubangiji na iya ta wurin mala'ikun sa ya mayas maka da su is a fear not allah i will restore the years that the kankagums have eaten in your life ya ce kada ka tsorata za in mayas maka da shekarun da tsotsosi suka ci a rayuwar ka i will cause you to eat in plenty and be satisfied zan sanya ka ka ci cikin yalwa ka kuma koshi the lord is your shepherd 
Allah ubangiji makiyaye ne Why then are you refusing to come to the presence of the Lord Me yasa kana kin zuwa gaban ubangiji Why are you refusing to come to the fellowship of the Lord Me yasa kana kin zuwa cikin zumuntar ubangiji The miracles will be done for you Nan ne al'ajibai za a yi maka su Where the favors will be shown you Inda za a nuna maka tagomashi Where angels will fight your enemies Inda mala'iku za su yi yaki da abokan gabanka Yes the Lord will revive his people nan ne ubangiji zai falkar da jama'arsa in the book of psalm 85 verse 6 zabura sura 95 psalm 85 verse 6 aya shidda will thou not revive us again that thy people may rejoice in thee aya shidda tana cewa ba za ka kowa rayar da mu ba domin mutanen ka su yi murna da kai oh lord will you not revive us again so that we can be joyful in you ya allah ba za ka falkar da mu kuma ba saboda mu yi murna a cikin ka ba in psalm 138 verse 7 zabura 38 da takos 38 da takos aya bakwai psalm 138 verse 7 Though I walk in the midst of trouble thou wilt revive me thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of mine enemies and thy right hand shall save me Ko da nake tafiya a tsakiyar wahala za ka warsakar da ni za ka mika hannunka bisa kan fushin makiyana hannun damanka kuma za ya cece ni Now in this life there is the, the roads of this life go down climb up hill go down climb up hill which tells you you must go down go down in the valley very simple no effort but there are times you have to climb up you have to climb up it to require effort wa halun duniyan nan ta kan sauka kasa ta haura sama ta sauka kasa ta haura sama kana ya zama dole kai ma ka kasance cikin kwari ka kara tashiwa zuwa sama again is the same sometimes you are getting lost you are going down the valley as if you 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 can't see anymore you, you you they cannot see you again because life is drying away but there is the god of heaven that shall revive you and bring you up again you will stand on top of the hills again he said god is ready to revive you go among my people be there among my people i shall be coming to walk among you atake ce yana cewa rayuwa so da dama ta kan jawo ka cikin kwari kana ganin ka man ba a ganin ka kuma ka fidda bege amma ubangiji yana nan zai daga ka ya ce je na ce ka je domin zan tayar da kai zan kuma warsakar da kai yes the lord shall renew your strength ubangiji za ya sabonta karfin ka they that wait upon the lord shall renew their strength wadanda suka jira kan ubangiji za a sabonta karfin su your christian strength is gone rayuwarka karfi na kristanci ta rabu da kai the devil has wounded you shedan yayi maka rauni battle in the family battle between husband and wife battle and struggles of life have wounded you yake cikin iyali yake sakanin mata da miji yake na rayuwa ta yi maka rauni and you don't have energy again ba ka da sauran raguwar karfi kuma your hope is lost right begin ka ta bace go in among the people of god and wait along with the people for god tafi cikin taruwar jama'ar allah kai ma ka kasance da su cikin jiran ubangiji they wait upon the lord one day you are still in the presence of god two days you are still in the presence of god Three days you're still in the presence of God like others you shall renew your strength. 
aje ka kasance a cikin jama'ar ubangiji rananan farko kana gaban ubangiji rananan biyu kana gaban ubangiji kana rananan uku ubangiji zai sabunta karfin ka kuma the law shall revitalize his people which means he will give you vital strength life he will give you life again Ubangiji anan yana nuna cewa zai karfafa ka zai gubo kuma baka rai kuma The Lord brought Ezekiel by a valley full of dead bones dry bones Ubangiji ya zo da Ezekiel a cikin kwari cike da bussassun kasasuwa revitalize that give life back to you they must the rain agareka and then the lord said unto ezekiel son of man shall these bones live say ubangiji ya cewa ezekiel dan mutum wannan kasasuwan za su rayu kuma that as you are coming to this program somebody said can this woman really have any christian life yayin da kina zuwa wannan taro sai wa za ta ce wannan macen za ta sake samun rayuwar kristanci there was a young man that called me and said this is what my mother did my mother is a wicked woman but she is coming for the ministers conference wato wani samrai ne ya kira shi yana gaya masa akan mahaifiyar sa da cewa ga yadda take kuma tana so ta zo wannan taro na masu hidima i was wondering why are you telling me about this now Sayin mamaki me yasa kake gaya mini maybe he wants to let me know that my brother is coming in vain nothing will happen to her that yeah. no change and this woman is wicked ya yeah, yuwe na kokarin fada masa ne da cewa komai zuwa da mafiyar sa za ta zo ba za ta samu canji ba domin muguwa ce that's what they are saying about your life they have look at your life they say can this one be anything all this christian thing that is saying with her mouth all this christian thing saying with his mouth let him go for that conference and come back nothing will change ya yu haka ake ce da kai haka suke rayuwar su na bi ko da sun tafi za su dawo babu sakewa bar su su tafi su dawo mu gani is that not what they saying about you ba abin da ake cewa game da ku ba kenan is that not what your husband is thinking about you ba abin da tunanin mijin ki ya kasance akan ki ba kenan just go for this your conference i'm holding is i'm holding is look at you terrible woman you say i'm holding is i'm holding is cewa za ki je wannan taro kina cewa ina da tsarki ina da tsarki The Lord says son of man shall these bones live Ubangiji ya ce dan mutum kasusuwan nan za su rayu kuma Ezekiel said they were very dry Ezekiel ya ce sun bushe kwarai and it really means you you are full of sin Ya nuna cewa kana cike da zinibi you came full of sin ka zo cike da zinibi people were crying even you left some people crying ya yu ma ka bar wasu suna kuka and they believe you will not change sun gaskanta ba za ka samu canzuwa ba ezekiel said god only you can understand this type of case ezekiel ya ce kai ka dai ne ubangiji za ka san irin wannan yanayi then the lost the son of man prophesied to this dry bone sai ubangiji ya ce dan mutum kai anabci akan kasusuwa oh ye dry bones ya kubu sassan kasusuwa I am going to bring flesh upon you. Zan sanya nama akanku. I'm going to bring veins upon you. Zan sanya jijiyoyi akanku. And I'm going to blow air into you. Zan kuma hura iska akanku. And you will leave. Za ku kuma rayu. You will leave. Za ku rayu. Then Ezekiel began his prophecy. Sai nan da nan Ezekiel ya fara anabcin sa. As Ezekiel prophesied unto the dry bones. Da Ezekiel ya anabci akan kasusuwa busassun. There was a noise in Say the valley. Sai ga surutu a wannan kwari. The bones began to shake. Wannan kasusuwa suka fara motsi. Electricity started working in the dry bones. Sai lantarki ta soma aiki akan kasusuwan nan. And bone was coming to the to the correct bone to join up. Sai kasusuwan nan suka fara tasowa suna harhadewa da junan su. Right in the eyes of Ezekiel. Nan a gaban idanun shi Ezekiel. The bones joined up and a full skeleton. They became like a skeleton of a full human being lying down. There were many. 
wannan kasusuwan suka harhada da juna sai suka ju suka yi sifan mutum cikin kasusuwa right in the eyes of Ezekiel nan a ga a idanuwan Ezekiel then started distributing itself around around the bones sai jijiyoyi ta fara rarraba kanta kewaye da wannan kasusuwar right in the eyes of Ezekiel nan a gaban idanun Ezekiel the flesh started spreading themselves upon the bone sai na mata so ma cicikawa kewaye da wannan kasusuwa great things have happened in this place manyan abubuwa sun faru a wannan wuri since you came here the holy ghost has been working in your life tun zuwar ku a wannan wuri ruhu mai tsarki ya dingi aiki a rayuwar ku the lord got hold of your your mind your heart and started changing the thoughts of your heart Allah ya kama zukatan ku ya soma canza tunanin zuciyar ku The Lord got hold of those demons that will never give you rest and bound the spirits in your life Allah ya kakkama wannan aljanun da suka kana ba ku hutu a rayuwa ya kuma daddaure su The Lord got hold of your heart and began to send stones to break that hardened heart Ubangiji ya kama zuciyar ku ya dauki duse yana farfasa zuka tanku taurarru The stones were heavy word of God Wannan du'a suna taimakon kalmar Allah ne He said I saw them lay on the valley as slain men Sai ya ce na gansu a kwari kamar mutanen da aka yanyanke su Then the Lord said unto him son of man prophesy to the winds all winds come from the four corners of the earth and breathe into this slain that they should rise sai ubangiji ya ce masa dan mutum kai anabci ga iskoki na kursoyi hudu na duniya domin su hura iska akan su domin su rayu i prophesied as i was commanded na yi anabci kamar yadda aka dokace ni i prophesied na kuma yi anabci the winds came into the valley iskan ta shigo cikin kwarin holy ghost is working here ruhu mai tsarki na aiki a nan i say holy ghost is working here na ce ruhu mai tsarki na aiki a nan your life will not be the same again rayuwar ku ba za ta kasance kamar da ba kuma your life will not be the same again rayuwar ku ba za ta kasance kamar da ba kuma power of god is working in your life iko allah na aiki a cikin rayuwar ku the lord is dragging you out of the horrible pit Allah Allah yana fitar da ku daga cikin rami The Lord is lifting you up from the horrible pit Allah yana fitar da ku daga cikin rami mai ban tsoro The Lord is landing you upon the rock Allah yana dibiya ku akan duwasu Hallelujah Hallelujah and he will put a new song in your mouth sannan zai sanya sabuwar waka a bakunan ku you that they think you cannot change ku da ake tunani ko kai ba za ka canza ba a surprise is waiting for them mamaki na jiran su i say a surprise is waiting for your husband na ce mamaki na jiran me gidanki a surprise is waiting for your wife or children na mamaki na jiran ayanka because not by might nor by power but by my spirit saith the law ba da iko karfi ba amma ta luna inji ubangiji and they shall know that you have come to the presence of za kuma sa su san da cewa kun zo gaban ubangiji the devil shall know that you have come to the presence of the lord she danu ma za su san kun zo gaban ubangiji he will restore you za yi mayas da ku he will revive you ze falkar da ku he will revitalize you ze ba ku saban karfi yes the lord is going to refill you e allah zai sake ciccika ku you refill you zai ciccika ku holy ghost 
the power of the Holy Ghost will come on your life. The power of the Holy Ghost will fall on your life. All those threatenings you are receiving from witches and wizards. All those threatening in ministry you are receiving from the Sanhedrin and from the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Power is coming on your life. Power is coming upon your life. You shall receive power. Surely I am full of power to declare to Israel their transgression. To declare to the sons of Jacob their sins. Tempus ikona akaina domi in ayanawa aya Israela kura korensu da kuma ya kub zonabansa. The people think they have shut up your mouth. Mutane na tunane sunu rapo ba kunanku. The people think you cannot preach anymore. Suna tunane maza kusake nyongwa aziba. Let them wait for you, you are coming. Sujira kukuna azua. I said they should wait for you. You are coming. The power of the Lord shall take over your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm telling you what the Lord will do in your life. The Lord shall remember his promises over your life. He shall remember you. I said the Lord shall remember you. It was the Lord that made Noah and the animals and the family enter into the ark of ark, the ark constructed. Forty days and forty nights. The rain was heavy upon the land. It came to pass that the Lord remembered Noah. God is doing something in this state, but he will remember you. The Lord is doing something in this nation, but he will remember you. I'm saying the Lord is doing something over his own church. He will remember you. That is what why you came here. He said, see me, Lord, see me. You are saying, God, look at me now. Lord, Check. look at me. Kaleshi, Kaleni. He said, I know, I know. Yeche, naseni, naseni. I have remembered. I have remembered. Natuna, natuna. I said, God says he has remembered. Yache, natuna. He has remembered. Yatuna. Oh, that dream he gave to you. Oh, one day. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I say it shall come to pass. Zezoga Chikawa. Do you remember when somebody came to you and said something to you? He said, ah, this thing, is it that God sent you to me? Yes, yes. 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 This word you are speaking now is from God. Yes, yes. 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 It was from God. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. I said that thing they told you was from God. Everything the Lord sent his servant to say to you, although it has gone far, the Lord will remember it. <laughs> Duk aba banda ubengiji ya aikibawa nsadomi ya gaya muku Kode shike dama ya kasa nchede nesa Zaituna adoku The Lord remembered He remembered The Lord remembered Rachel As he had promised Allah ya tina da Rachel kama yede ya alka walta Isaac had stayed 20 years with Rebecca the Lord remember Rebecca. Allah ya tuna da Rebecca. Because all those promises 
You think God for God. You think he just threw them away. A time of fulfillment is there. Now, the Lord is saying, I'm not a careless person. Don't think I just, I was sleeping when I said those things. I have remembered what I told you. When I was born, I was born and 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 I was born in Genesis chapter 30 I read verse 22. Farawa surah talatin ayah shirin leviyu. Genesis chapter 30 and verse 22. Farawa surah talatin ayah shirin leviyu. And God remembered Rachel and God hearkened to her and opened her womb. Allah kwa ya tuna da rahila kuma Allah ya ji maganata ya bu de chikinta. This woman was really tormented. Because her maid, Leah, was giving birth to children, just children, just children. But look at Rachel, she was tormented. She prayed. She prayed. She prayed. It's as if there was silence. Then a time came. The Lord looked at her. And remembered her. And said, okay, this woman has been asking for this all this while. I will give her children. Then the Lord sent an angel, go and open her womb. Let her start now. The door will be open to you. Za abu de muku kofa. Issue you have been praying for all this while, it has seemed there is silence. The Lord will remember you. When they are in the car, they can cook a canta. I am so obengiya to not okay. In the book of Exodus, little chapter, chapter six, Peter was so rash. Shida. Exodus chapter 6. Who told you that God doesn't know about your suffering? God knows about your suffering. He knows about your pain. He knows about your sorrow. He knows about your sorrow. He said, and I have also heard the groaning of the children of Israel, whom the Egyptians keep in bondage, and I have remembered my covenant. I have been here in a chair. Kuma na jini shi ya yan Israela, wadanda masarawa ki rike da suchi kimba uta, na kuwa tina da alkawalina. The groaning you have been showing pain because of your sickness. When the nishi the zafi the cooked and and our water the little and chew. The groaning you are passing through under the oppression of me. The nishi the cooked and and our water we are in the near mutani. Under the oppression of women. Not the near mutani. The Lord said, Oh. I remember I told you the other time that I will deliver you. I remember that I sent my word to you assuring you that I will heal you. I remember the promise I made that I am going to take you to another place. 
na tuna da alkawalin da nayi da cewa zan dauke ka zuwa wani gu kuma i remember that i told you i would do something new for you na tuna da cewa na gaya maka zan yi sabuwar abu domin ka i have come na zo i say i have come na ce na zo the lord has come ubengiji ya zo hey eh you are going to stand up and they will start dressing you with the rank that God has promoted you to za ku mike siyasa na ubengiji ya fara kawa taku de mati ya rise up and receive angelic dressing Angels are going to dress you with the new cloth of honor, the new cloth of honor, the new cloth of blessing. Your rank has increased. Your rank has increased. Malaiku za su kawa taku da sabon girman ku, za su kawa taku da girmamawa girmanku ya karu weeping me endure for the night but joy comes in the morning the lord will make you joyful this day ku kana iya kasancewa cikin dare amma murna na zuwa da safiya wannan ita ce ranar murnar ku This is that glorious morning that the Lord say he will appear to you. Wannan ita ce daukakai kiyar safiya da ubangiji ya ce zan bayyana a gare ku. He said unto blind Bartimaeus. Ya ce wa makaho Bartimaeus. He said call him to come. Ya ce ku kira washi yazo Everybody do the battle has finished. Mun ga cewa yance ko wa yasa zace ya kare. Jesus said tell him to come. Yesu ya ce ku ga ya mishi yazo and then the, uh, uh, the man threw away the mantle that is disturbing him is my master said I shall come. Sai mutumin ya yarda a kebban da ke damun shi ya ce shugabana ya ce in zo. Why are you refusing me to walk? Me abin da ke hana ni tafiya. Move us up. Ya yadda ita. I am coming now. Ina zuwa yanzu. Walk into the presence of God. Zuwa gaban ubangiji. I am coming now. Ina zuwa yanzu. Walk into the presence of your God. Ya cikin sakayin ubangiji. I am coming now. Ina zuwa yanzu. Tell the Lord what do you want me to do for you? Tell the Lord. 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 Makaho Bartimeo ya karbi ganin da Blind Bartimeo received it Bartimeo ya karbi ganin da You will receive Za ku karba Open your mouth you will receive Mu da bakin ku za ku karba The Lord is my shepherd Allah yana da alheri He restored my soul Zai mai da raina He will revive me again Zai falkal da ni kuma He will renew my strength Zai sabon ta karfi na kuma He will revitalize me and give me life again Zai war sakar da ku ya ba ku rai kuma Today is the day, the day of the Lord in your life. Is the day of the Lord in your life. Today is the day, the day of the Lord in your life. It is the day of the Lord in your life. Rana nubengi jine ara yorku. Lift up your voice as blind Bartimaeus. Kudaga murio yinku ga nubengi jine. Lift up your voice as blind Bartimaeus. Kudaga murio yinku sama urgodo ga Allah. And receive. Kukuma karma. And receive. Kukarma. Be renewed. 
Be revived. Let the Lord restore you. Allah ya maezo. In every way, let the Lord restore you. Ako wane hanya Allah ya maezo. By the Holy Ghost, let God refill you. Bari Allah ya saki chika taku. Let the Holy Ghost refill you. Bari ruu me sariki ya chichi kaku. Let the Holy Ghost refill you. Ruu me sariki ya chichi kaku. Yes, shall receive power. Yes, shall receive power. Yes, shall receive power. Zaku karibi iku. When the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Ya enda ruu me sariki ya soko abisa. Be refilled. Be refilled. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. 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 Open your mouth and let God feel it. Open your mouth and let God feel it. Revival. Receive revival. The Lord revive you. The Lord revive you. Let your Christian life come back again. Let your Christian life come back again. Let your Christian life come back again. Let your zeal for Jesus come back again. Let your Christian life come back again. Let your Christian ministry. Come back again. Your life will not be the same 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 again. Your life will The Lord will bless someone today. The Lord will bless someone today. The Lord will bless someone today. It will be you. It will be him. It is someone by your side. It will be you. It will be him. It is someone by your side. Hallelujah. The Lord will bless someone today. 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 It will be you. It will be him. It will be someone by your side. It will be you. It will be him. It will be someone by your side. Hallelujah. The Lord will bless someone today. 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 It will be you. It will be her. It will be someone by your side. 
it will be you it will be her it will be someone by your side my brother the lord will bless someone today 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 it will be you it will be him it will be someone by your side it will be you it will be him it will be someone by your side my sister the lord will bless someone today 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 it will be you it will be hard it will be someone by your side it will be you it will be hard it will be someone by your side your day is today Yo, Nirana. Your day is today. Yo, it is a runner. Your day is today. Runner, catch yo. Dry bone shall live again. Bosasiar kasua sua zatara, you. Dry bone shall live again. Bosasa kasua zatara, you. Not be the same again. Your day is today. Jesus name we pray. Check in soon a yay sumake ada. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805 you can also reach us through our email address, Holiness Revival Movement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe I believe in 
came from heaven You died for my sins You purchased me with your blood You are my Lord and my Savior But for my sins, oh Lord Jesus, you are the living Savior. Jesus, I believe in you. I believe in you. Because you are my Lord and Savior. You are my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe in you. I believe I believe in you, you are the living Savior. Jesus, I believe in you. I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. Oh, oh, oh. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you, you are my Lord and Savior, I believe in you, you are the living Savior, you can You purchased me with your blood. You are my Lord and my Savior. You left your throne above and took up the form of a servant for my sin. Jesus, I believe in you. I believe in you. Because you are my Lord and Savior. You are my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe in you. I believe in you, Lord. Because you are the living Savior.
believe in you. You are the living Savior. I believe in you. I love you, Lord. I love you. I believe. Savior. Jesus, I believe.